so guys, we have just got back from scuba diving. Oh my God, what an experience. I honestly, I'm so proud of myself. I did not think I was going to be able to do it. I genuinely thought I was just going to panic, not be able to do it. It was so much information listening to at first and I absolutely smashed it. Like, I cannot believe I can say I've scuba dived. What the hell? That was honestly one of the most surreal experiences of the trip. One of the best ways to start our final week of the trip as well. I want to say a huge thank you to Silver Swift again for obviously gifting us this experience and my adventure project because without them we honestly would not have been able to do this and I just, I'm in awe at how amazing that was. Honestly, it was so fun. Everyone in the team at Silver Swift as well was so lovely, so calm, so like just like really easy going and you know doing scuba diving is actually really scary and they were so patient they were so like caring they made sure that we took our time and we didn't panic they were constantly checking in on us and i think that just made the experience overall 100 times better and easier at first i really did not think i would be able to do it i said to said before we came out i would absolutely love to do it so please put me down for doing it but i don't know if i can make any promises that i'm actually going to be able to do it because i said i can get a little bit panicky when i think that i can't breathe and i'm not going to lie there was one little blip that i did have when we were first going down you know i wasn't perfect straight away from the get-go i did have one little blip and it was basically as you're going down you have to like blow out your ears like this like you would on a plane like to release the pressure and one of the other rules as well is that when you're under the water you can't hold your breath you have to keep breathing constantly because of the lung capacity it can like mess something up i don't know the actual scientific details about it tried not to remember that so much because that hearing all that information was a little bit scary and intimidating but yeah so basically if you were to hold your breath it's a really bad thing and when i was doing this for the first time i realized i was holding my breath so i panicked and i was like oh my god oh my god I'm not supposed to be doing that so then I was like oh my god I'm gonna have to go up and I got myself into a little bit of a panic but at this point luckily we were literally so close to the surface so I just inflated myself a little bit went to the top had a bit of a breather spoke to myself in my head and I was like come on Charles, you've got this chill out it's all in your head you're not gonna die you're gonna be fine it was just I panicked because going like this I realized I'm not breathing but in order to do this, you can't breathe. Like you have to breathe out. So I was like, I was just telling myself, like I just got a little bit confused in that moment. And once I'd sorted that out, we went back down, we did like all the different checks. Cause you have to do the check where you fill your goggles with water and then you flush it out using your nose and like holding your mask. You also have to do the test where you put the mouthpiece in take it out, breathe out, and then put the mouthpiece back in, do a big breath to get the water out, and then continue breathing. And then once we'd done all that, we pretty much were set to go, and I absolutely loved it. Like, I could not believe how easy it actually was once we got down there. Like, I feel like the longer you were down there, the more comfortable you got, because it kind of just became a routine. You got so used to just breathing under there. Your breathing was more regular. I think definitely when I first went down, I was definitely breathing a lot more like <gasps> just because I didn't know what to do and I didn't know what to expect. But then as the trip went on, we just got even better at it. And I wish in a way that we could have been down there longer. And I also want to give a little shout out to my diving instructor, Xavier. He was absolutely incredible. And like I said, just made us really calm the whole time. <laughs> as I just walked to the window and the boobs out. But we also did snorkeling. So basically on the trip, you only do one dive and then you do two snorkel sessions. And the snorkeling again was absolutely incredible. I do want to point out that if you feel like you can't do the scuba diving, you can pretty much see exactly what you see in scuba diving in the snorkeling it's just obviously with the scuba diving you get a lot more close and personal and you sort of like free foot you know you're just under the water a little bit more whereas when you're snorkeling you're just at the surface so if that is something that worries you you know you can just do the snorkeling and you do see exactly the same stuff food on there as well absolutely incredible yeah i've had such an amazing day today i honestly feel so tired though now it is a very tiring task i don't know how these divers do it all day every day big props to them
Is it the next day? I now have some food to go and feed the wallabies. We actually did this the other day in Magnetic Island, but we didn't have the pellets. And they actually go for the pellets more than they do carrots. So I'm excited. Hopefully I'll get some nice pickies. These ones are so small. The ones that we saw the other day were so much bigger. How cute. last day before we go back home which is super sad but we're gonna have a fun day here we're just heading to do the glass bottom boat <music> 